What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Ms. Golden 83, and I am here to do the last reading of the week for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, this is your tap into the soul, tap into your soul reading. Okay, remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next. Okay, Sagittarius, I hope you guys have enjoyed your week. Okay, um, as far as the energy goes, all right, this is your fifth reading, all right, you guys already know how this goes, we are going to start um, by pulling three cards, one from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle, um, and those three will represent some placements, it will present your past, present, and future placements, okay, um, at this point in time, if you like, you can get out a piece of paper or a notebook so that way you can kind of interpret these drawings on these cards um, for yourself and answer the questions that go along with each placement, okay? And then at the end, we will flip the deck over to see what the bottom of the deck is for your overall outcome, okay? So let's get started. So one from the top. One from the bottom and one energetically from the middle. Okay. And like I said, we will flip the bottom over momentarily to see what your overall outcome or energy will be. Okay. There is no book with this deck you guys so these are fairly intuitive messages okay so keep that in mind all right so let's start with this card here which is your past placement we're not going to flip all of them over we're going to do one at a time so we're not overwhelmed by the energy okay so Sagittarius the first placement is your past placement what held you back in the past okay there is some slight nudity throughout these cards, okay? So if you are under 18, you need to go that way, okay? I'm not going to hold these up for too long, okay? But you can pause here um, and take the time to write out that question, what held you back in the past, and kind of write some details down of this imagery, okay, if you like, and how it makes you feel as you're looking at this imagery, okay? So Sagittarius, looking at this imagery, what held you back in the past, okay? Um, see this man here sailing in a boat, okay? And the first thing I'm hearing in my head is Lady of the Sea, okay? Um, so maybe there's a, I feel as though it could be a motherly figure for you okay um, maybe for some of you you could be either dealing with or are um, very close to your mother or some type of motherly figure of some sort or maybe a lover of women Sagittarius get in where you fit in um, but your mind or who you are was somewhat determined by what your mother shaped you to be, okay? Um, possibly you could have been in a single family uh, home, like a single parent home, possibly, and maybe you were raised by your mother, okay? And so it's hard for a mother to raise boys than it is for girls, okay? Because of the fact that they have to play both mother and father, or they have to find someone to be a male role model for you, okay? And so I don't want to say, say that it was per se your mom, but maybe the ideology of your mother, satisfying your mother in a sense of the things that you do or did in the past is what held you back, okay? Trying to get maybe approval or justification from your mother, okay? She possibly, as this arm is extended out and kind of stopping the boat from moving forward, it's as though you needed the approval of some type of motherly figure or your mother, okay? And so possibly you were being held back by that, okay? 
um, as you can kind of see the extension of herself into the person in the boat and even the mindset, okay, as his head is kind of, if you can kind of see here, the head is kind of in the same purple kind of like flames here in a sense. And then you can see her essence pretty much flowing through to him. So you possibly have a very, like I said, close connection with your mom because of the fact that, again, I'm just feeling this very single parent uh, home dynamic where she was raising you on her own and there was really no male, strong male figure around to give you what it was that you needed. And this is as far as what a man is or should be, okay? It was based off of her idea of what a man should be and what pretty much what she was looking for. She was, she was somewhat raising you possibly in, in that, you know, staking claim or blame onto your mother you know you have to be a very strong woman to do that my mother did it as well so i totally get it okay um but she could have been instilling in you what she thought or what she wanted um as uh, for her ideal man she put it in you as her son to be this type of man which in a sense satisfied her needs not yours okay so she could give you the idea of what a good man is but not in a connotation of what she wanted in a man it had to be based off of how she would want you to be to another woman okay so if that makes sense get in where you fit in like i said not blaming anyone but that has possibly been what's been holding you back is trying to get the approval of your mom of what a man should be this could possibly be primarily for like i said uh male sagittarius's okay feminine sagittarius's you still could possibly go through the same thing as your mother primarily putting in an ideal of what a man should be as far as what type of man you should be with because she was a single mother okay um, and again just trying to provide that male dynamic for you she had to be both okay so it can go either way all right but we're not going to stay there long as we're at 743 in your reading okay let's move on to your present placement in the middle okay what continues to hold you back presently? What continues to hold you back presently? Okay. I will hold this card here. And you can take the time to write out what you feel as you're looking at this card of what is holding you back presently. Okay. So this card is somewhat popular since I did readings before my two week break. And this card had came up quite a bit for it to be in your present spot I feel as though you could be battling with something within as far as getting some clarity on some things maybe clarity on things from your past okay you may be holding on to some things from your childhood okay that's affecting possibly your heart space and your mental space as far as your crown chakra is concerned and your sacral chakra as I'm looking at this orange here and where it's placed right here above the navel and then you have the heart space close to the throat space here and then around the head okay and so I feel as though you know you are holding on to some traumas maybe realizing what was holding you back in your past okay um, and before I forget by all means, you can pause here and focus on what you would like your overall energy to be to see if it matches with the final card once we flip it over. But uh, back to the present, you're holding on to some things while and you're trying to maybe figure some things out on your own to get your own self-enlightenment, um, maybe because of the fact that you don't want to open up any old wounds or because you are considering your mother's feelings or your parents feeling okay could have been a father single father raising children as well get in where you fit in okay um 
but he may be trying to consider that parent's feelings because you don't want them to feel as though you're blaming them for anything or because you know that they're very sensitive about this the that phase of both of your lives and so you kind of don't want to prod the bear but there are some things that you may not be able to answer on your own where you may need the enlightenment of your parent to understand their side of things before you come to a final determination of what held you back in the past or what was holding you back presently okay so really take that time to while it is good to soul search i feel that's what you're doing right now sagittarius presently is what's holding you back is your soul searching but you're doing it by yourself okay there are some things that you cannot answer yourself you need to reach out to people if there are any others that you have some past traumas or just need some clarity maybe it's not trauma maybe it's just needing clarity okay wanting clarity or verification for yourself on reasoning for why someone did something before you need that person to pretty much tell you what that was okay and if they're not around you have to kind of figure it out on your own if there's no one else around to help you clarify but pretty much you could do um, ancestral meditations or an ancestor meditations and maybe talk with loved ones in the spiritual realm and dream in your dream state and maybe you can get answers that way where it will be shown to you um, to give you some clarity but it's all really about letting it go um, gradually and understanding that people did what they did because of what they had at their disposal okay it wasn't anything to slight you they just thought they were moving in the best way they possibly could okay and so you have to take that into consideration as you're looking for this enlightenment if there are some things that you're not going to be able to get closure on okay so with that being said let's look at your future placement how will you change your future how will you change your future Sagittarius okay so you can pause here as we hold this card up okay how will you change your future okay this is in your future placement we have all these different faces hold within one image okay within a silhouette of a person okay and so how you will change is you will i feel as though have different viewpoints on different things you will look within okay as there are many facets to you within you okay maybe all of these different faces are associated with feelings of love sadness happiness okay um pick whatever feelings or emotions you may have hidden on the inside um it could be i don't want to say multiple personalities but it could be multiple characteristics of you that make you who you are okay and so maybe coming to terms with who you really are on the inside what makes you you okay and being okay with having different sides to you but also knowing how to control those different sides of you and not letting one characteristic outrule the other okay so not completely being a void as you see a lot of white space here um three faces dictating to me as i love threes is talking about centering centering yourself as well okay so maybe seeking some form of therapy again talking to people, communicating, trans, transforming in a sense of opening up to people about what has been bothering you or plaguing you over the years between a family dynamic um, or just yourself as a whole, if it's not involving your family at all. Um, maybe it's just about you figuring out who you are without your parents approval you are now at an age where you should be able to approve yourself you don't need the approval of of a parent they have done their job 
okay? They raised you the best way they possibly raised you. Their teachings don't have to remain your teachings, okay? You now teach yourself. You take those teachings and you take what it is that you can use from those teachings and then you revamp them to your own personal beliefs and morals, okay? You can't hold that over anyone's head um, and say, well, you made me this way. And it's like, no, it's not that they made you that way. They taught you what they thought would be helpful to you, but it's up to you whether or not to stick to those teachings or rewrite your own way, okay? So you have to consider that when it comes to if it's a parent dynamic, okay? So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and flip the deck over to see what your bottom card is to see what your overall energy will be okay and this is your bottom card okay take the time to look at this here see how it makes you feel um, see if it matches with what you feel you want your overall outcome to be okay in reference to this whole week or in reference to how you feel presently Okay, so with this card being your overall, I feel as though, Sagittarius, you will be letting yourself, you will be freeing yourself in a sense of being held by someone else's ideology, okay? You want to be yourself. You don't want to be what somebody else wants you to be, okay? So while it is acceptable and appreciate appreciated that people have suggestions on what you should do or how you should be does not mean you have to be that way okay so you could end up telling people like hey i appreciate you know the suggestion or your opinion or your uh suggestion but i i think i'm fine you know and you do things based on how you want to do them not because you're trying to please other people. That can be very exhausting and you can lose yourself of who you are by trying to be what other people want you to be, okay? So with that being said, Sagittarius, I think that is all that I have for you, okay? Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this energy wave this week. But until next time, I hope you guys take care. Make sure you take care of yourself. If none of this resonated for you, but you got a lesson out of it, that's all that matters to me. That is more important than anything. So until next time, peace.